you've been told this is about lust, about discipline, about morality, but neuroscience tells a different story. What if what you call porn addiction isn't about sex at all? Stay with me because by the end of this video, you'll see what's really driving the compulsion and how to finally take back control. Most people think this is about lust, the watching of explicit media. What it means is that you have a high sex drive or just lack of discipline, but that's not what's happening in your brain. When you engage with this kind of stimulation, you're not feeding sexual desire. In fact, you're feeding a dopamine pursuit circuit. Neuroscientist Andrew Huberman, he explained recently that dopamine levels can surge between 200 and 400 percent during visual stimulation like explicit matter. That's roughly the same range triggered by potent stimulants. So your brain isn't aroused because it's turned on. It's aroused because it's chemically triggered. Those chemicals don't represent intimacy or attraction. They represent anticipation. And anticipation, it's the trap. This isn't a sex circuit. It's a novelty circuit. The same one that fires when you gamble, when you're scrolling, or when you binge anything that might give you one more hit. It's the maybe that keeps you coming back for more. Its only job is to keep you searching, not to help you feel satisfied. Here's the neuroscience. Every time you click, every time you scroll or search for something better, the nucleus accumbens in your brain lights up. That's your craving center. The prefrontal cortex it's the area responsible for discipline, reflection, and long-term choices. Well, it starts to go quiet. Over time, those craving circuits get stronger while your control circuits weaken. You're literally miswiring your brain to react, not to choose. I like to think of it like sitting in traffic. Your brain used to take prefrontal cortex street. That's the main road in your brain for thoughtful decisions, for self-control. But through neuroplasticity, your brain built a faster, flashier shortcut to the craving center. And every time you take that shortcut, you know it. You reinforce it. More traffic, more dopamine, more anticipation, more automatic behavior. And here's the real catch. The nucleus accumbens loves the traffic. It rewards you for keeping cars moving its way. Every time you give in to that urge, it drops a little chemical thank you. That's the dopamine hit. It's what keeps you coming back for more. It's what keeps business booming for that area of your brain. It tricks you into thinking, this feels good. I need this. But what it really wants is to keep you driving in circles because the traffic itself is the payoff. That's why the craving often hits long before the click does. Your brain isn't chasing pleasure. It's chasing prediction. You're not choosing. You're being cued. And here's the hidden cost. While that highway expands, other parts of the brain fall into disrepair. Motivation fades. Focus narrows. Real connection feels like a back road you forgot to drive on. You start mistaking that rush, that chemical traffic jam, for excitement, for intimacy, for life. But really, it's just gridlock. It's constant motion. No destination. And when you finally try to rest, when you park the car and you step out of that traffic, your body panics. The stillness feels foreign. It might even feel threatening to you. That's why calm feels so uncomfortable. 
It's withdrawal from overstimulation. Have you ever felt this way where calm feels off, like you need to be moving or scrolling just to feel okay? Drop it in the comments for me. Just let me know, yes, if this resonates with you. What you're feeling isn't weakness. It's a nervous system trained to equate chaos with safety. But as those roads were built, they can be rebuilt. You can redirect traffic back toward calm, back toward control, back toward the real you. Here's the truth. You were never addicted to sex. You've always been addicted to pursuit. Your brain linked excitement and safety and calm with emptiness. That's reversible. In my Explicit Matter Recovery Program, I teach this very thing step by step. How to quiet the craving circuits. How to restore your prefrontal cortex back to control. How to rebuild authentic connection in the real world. When your brain learns regulation, the desire for fake novelty fades away on its own. That's the truth. That's the neuroscience of freedom. If this connected with you, please subscribe and share it. And if you're ready to retrain your brain, you can start today in my masterclass, the Explicit Matter Recovery Program that I put together to help people just like you. It's a guided system built on neuroscience, compassion, and real world results. The link is below. Be sure to click it. Check it out. And remember, the cure isn't less desire. It's regulated desire. Your brain can heal.